Now, some of you may have had the unfortunate experience of being in this position. Maybe you party too hard, drank a little too much, cops rolled up on you. But for those of you who haven't, let me tell you what's about to go down. As you're sitting on this comfortable curb, the cops are running a background check on you to see if you have anything on your record. And then comes the sobriety test. And even if you pass with flying colors, because at one point in time you memorize the alphabet backwards, you'll still be subjected to the dreaded Blow into this. breathalyzer. Now the question that everyone wants to know the answer to is, how do I beat the breathalyzer? There are a lot of different methods that people claim work, and I'm going to be testing some of those out. First, I'm going to be bringing my blood alcohol content to 0 0.08, and to do so, I'm going to need this. Maker's Mark, 45% alcohol by volume, it'll do the job. Now to measure my blood alcohol content, I'll be using an Alcohawk Slim. It has a BAC range of 0 to 0.40% with an accuracy of plus minus 0.01%. This utilizes a semiconductor sensor, and the sensor is formed from a bead of metal oxide that's heated to around 300 degrees Celsius. A voltage is then applied to produce a small standing current, and the presence of alcohol changes the surface resistivity of the bead, which changes the standing current. The BAC is determined by measuring the change in the current. Once I get my BAC to 0.08, I'll be testing myself using one of the methods that claim to lower it. The first is going to be a penny. Now the reason why people think that a penny can help lower it is because a penny causes a chemical reaction if you keep it in your mouth that makes the breathalyzer show an extremely high level of blood alcohol content which would let you claim that the test is invalid. The second is going to be food. Now, for me, it's going to be this delicious leftover pizza. But the mentality is that eating the food is going to soak up the alcohol in your system, which would lower your blood alcohol content. Now, everyone knows that drinking water helps recover from a hangover. Maybe it'll work to decrease your blood alcohol content too. Now, the last two methods are gonna be breathing techniques. One's gonna be holding your breath, another's gonna be hyperventilating. Holding your breath may lower it because it creates carbon dioxide, which will dilute the alcohol that you breathe out. And hyperventilating might bring in more oxygen, which clears your lungs and forces the alcohol out. So let's get to it. Point zero 0.08. So, we'll start with the penny. Didn't do anything. Time for the food. Point zero seven. Maybe it works. We'll wait a little bit and test it again. Point zero eight. So now I'm going to test the water. Point zero eight. 
So now I'll try holding my breath. Point one seven. So now I'll try hyperventilating. Point zero 0.05. Wow. That's pretty amazing. So, the various claims to fooling the breathalyzer stems from a lack of understanding of the whole process. When you drink, alcohol is absorbed into the bloodstream through your mouth, throat, stomach, etc. And when the blood travels to the lungs, the alcohol is released into the air sacs. Keeping a penny in your mouth is not going to affect the breathalyzer because it's sampling the air from deep inside your lungs. Food slows down alcohol being absorbed into the bloodstream, but if you're already over the limit and you try to scarf down some Jack in the Box tacos you just bought right before you're about to get tested, it won't affect anything. Same goes for water. The different breathing techniques did affect the results though. Definitely do not hold your breath you're only going to end up blowing alcohol concentrated air into the breathalyzer. Hyperventilating though, it did lower the BAC, but in the end, none of these methods are going to be possible because the standard procedure for the test is to wait 15 to 20 minutes before testing as well as making sure that there are no foreign objects inside the mouth. And I'm pretty sure the cops will notice if you start hyperventilating right before you blow into the breathalyzer. If we know it works, they do too. The only way to truly beat the breathalyzer is to not drink at all. I think I'll skip school tomorrow.